guys, how are you doing? This is your reading for the day. I hope you're doing fantastic. Today is June the 5th, and um, what we have is Aries Moon, Gemini Sun, Mercury in retrograde, Saturn in retrograde, Pluto in retrograde, and then we have Mars squared to Neptune. So real quick, I'll show you the alignments. So what we have, we have squares, which are the red lines, which cause a tension, or they can cause a change, a sudden change or a shift. So we have impulsive Aries moon. So your emotions are ruled by fire, um, the warrior, somebody who takes action. And um, it's squared to Mars in Cancer, so which is also impulsive and based on emotions. It's an opposition. It's opposing the need for major transformation as far as career, reputation, discipline, Capricorn energy. So if you want a disciplined approach to something, but you want to take action in some area of your life, here we have a need for um, giving something a lot of thought and also talking to a lot of different people um gemini sun that would be talking to friends family neighbors looking on yelp doing research because mercury retrograde squared to neptune is fear based on past experiences or past communication now you know mercury in retrograde causes delays and or disruptions because of this Neptune energy. It could be for good or for bad. Maybe you think something's going to be better or worse than it will be. And, um, you know, Aries moon, you could feel emotional, angry, combative, but also I feel like it's more of an action oriented. Like you want to do something right away, like now, tomorrow. Um, I would give it some thought, have a plan and a strategy. Um, you want to get lots of information before you jump into something major because Pluto is major transformation, major change. Okay, so just make sure with that Aries moon squared to Mars and then the T-square. It's like this T-square triangle with right at Aries moon. So <laughs> you could feel very compelled to take action and do something right away like and it has to do with you, your yourself. So cut your hair. Um, I was thinking about like all kinds of things. Like I wanted to get my nails done. That's really small, but um, you know, anything where you're changing yourself, give it thought, give it time, get lots of opinions because the way the energies are right now, you want to do it like today or tomorrow. You want to do it like now. So, <laughs> um, and it's Pluto energy. So it's like, you're tearing apart your bathroom, but it's not even that because it, ha it could be the home because Mars in Cancer is, is taking action in the place where you feel comfortable. So you could feel like tearing apart your bathroom and going to Home Depot and buying everything and I'm just going to do it today. And then you realize, but it's not really having to do with that because it has to do with 10th house energy of Capricorn which is what have you accomplished in life? So it's kind of like, it has to do with accomplishments. It could be like you wanna go get a fancy sports car and you're like, I really want this fancy sports car. I'm just gonna go buy it today. I want it, I'm gonna get it. And that would be you, but you don't know anything about the car. Maybe the insurance on the car is like 400 a month and you're like, no, I didn't even think about that. I just went out and got it. Lots of different things. <laughs> um, okay, so you want to just take inventory. Sun, the sun in Gemini too is really hard because you can have a flip-flop mind where you go back and forth, back and forth in your mind, which is awful. I always feel like I need, a, you know, a lot of help or assistance during. <laughs> I have Gemini in my chart. And I already have a lot of, I have a Gemini moon, so I'm already like 
thinking about lots of things. And if you, you know, with the sun in Gemini right now with Mercury in retrograde, that's thinking, thinking and talking about the past. So if you went through some trauma and you're thinking about doing something again, but you feel paralyzed, like in the hangman energy, you can't move forward because of the past trauma. Um, that could be a conflicted mind where you're, you're flip floppy because you're like, I really want to do this, but I was hurt before. And that could even be in your love life as well. You know, somebody invites you somewhere and you're like, gosh, I'd really like to go, but I was really, you know, I had a really bad experience um, before. Um, it's not really about travel though. This is not really about travel. This is about you. So it's about the person or it's about your home. It's about what makes you feel comfortable and then doing a drastic change. So that could be your job sometimes. That could be your job. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm wearing this faceted. It's cut faceted amethyst and regular smooth amethyst bracelet. Some of you may um, want to get that if you're interested at all. And I have an amethyst bracelet right now that was, or an amethyst necklace that would sort of match it. Uh, and they're real gemstones. And if I, you know, have any thought in my mind that it's not genuine, then I won't sell it at all. Like, no. I go in person and I check out the stones in person at the, where I buy them from and I do research and I talk to the owner and everything. So, so I don't want to be that person that's like, whoops, <laughs> you know, and then if I do make a mistake, I correct it. All right. So we're using the fairy tarot. The fairy tarot is by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. So pretty cool. Okay, let's see. We have uh, the Page of Wands energy flying up here. Okay, sorry. Page of Wands. Fiery information. What it says on the card is wanting to take immediate action. A challenge that you can successfully manage. That's good. So it could be news from a person. It could be your energy as well. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy on in the challenge position to this. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Oh boy, we got the chariot. There's a lot of um, Aries moon energy. This is a uh, cancer energy, but cancer is a cardinal sign, just like Aries. They are initiators um, they take action they start things and start projects so this is a lot of initiation energy going on hold on oh my gosh demanding she wants to go in her window oh okay can you wait on the window a minute okay <laughs> so we have impulsive action like but the chariot is um, overcoming obstacles. So if there are any obstacles in your path, like something is not smoothly going forward, because the chariot is not smooth. The two horses are going in different directions and he's making them go forward, saying we're doing this, you know. Um, it's about dedication, self-discipline. And it is, a, it is the, it's symbolic of success. It means you will be successful. That's underlying the energy. Um, the chariot can be indicative of travel, movement, or cars. Like literally a car. But king of pentacles is in the crossing. Money, 
abundance, a generous person. What does it say for this? Be assertive. Everything is going to go your way. That's what it says here. There's somebody who supports you. Maybe they understand you. They, they know what you're going through. Um, okay. Wow, Nine of Cups. A wish coming true, a wish that is fulfilled. The Nine of Water. Okay. So this has to do with feelings emotions um what when your emotions a lot of people shut down their emotions if they're in pain so they don't even really know how they're feeling this is happiness a wish that comes true a dream that's fulfilled something being you're on your way to what you want okay we have here a team we have a three of pentacles, following your passion. This means, you know, there's other people who are supporting you. Um, you could be, honestly, it's still the energy of you're on your way. You're on your way to making something happen. Um, this could have been something you've been recently doing as well. I feel like with the chariot and the, and the nine of cups, even the page of wands, the page of wands is very hopeful. It's youthful. It's like when you're 10 years old and you just have so much creative energy and you don't know about the world or anything. You're just like very excited, creative. All right, what's in the future here for Aries? The Two of Cups. Okay, we have love, we have compassion, we have a soul bond. So somebody is definitely on your side in this situation, Aries. Um, it's harmony between two people. So you offer your cup and they offer their cup. It's, it's, har it's harmony, it works, and... I mean, there could be something about finances in the crossing, but I feel like it is going to work out for you um, because, you know, it's nice to have an ally. If you have an ally, somebody who understands you, um, that's the best. Ah. Okay. Okay, we have here the Queen of Water. I feel like this is your energy because the moon is in Aries. Um, listen to your heart. You could be having intuitive insight right now. Okay, so fear can remove you from your intuitive insight. I know that for a fact. It's like you're going, you're standing in line on a really scary road for a really scary roller coaster and you're standing in line for an hour and during that hour i'm the kind of person that would use that exit lane and go you know <laughs> i'm not gonna do this because that looks really terrifying and the weight something about the weight so you see other people come on and get off i used to see the people getting off and look at their face to see how are they doing you know how, how are they are they okay <laughs> and that was me totally and you know other people like my sister's a sagittarius not at all she'd be she wouldn't even look at the people she'd be like i'm excited and she wouldn't even care um and you know i think if you're waiting for something that looks like a big roller coaster ride where you have to take the leap of faith um the wait is the scary part because all the the thoughts start to come. The what ifs. Um, so we don't have swords energy here, but we have emotions. And emotions can be connected to the way you're thinking, or they are connected to the way you're thinking with the Gemini moon right now. So that's the way you're thinking, it's what you're saying to people, it's what other people are saying to you. Um, it's processing data, information. So... <laughs> Three of waters in your environment. It works out really well for you right here. 
This is celebrations, good times, happiness, supportive people. It's great. News worth celebrating, receiving an announcement of some kind. Um, it can be anything, um, but it's, it's flowing well. This is good energy. Queen of Water, listen to your intuition. Try to turn off the indecisive mind if you have that. If you don't have that, then you're maybe you have a lot of Earth in your chart. You have a lot of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, this is amazing. So your fear right here is fear, Ten of Swords. You're you could be afraid that everything will just go wrong, and there will be. It's a fear of failure, actually, the fear of failure. So. I don't, there's no energies here showing that you're going to fail in any way, shape, or form. Um, Ten of water is the outcome. Nine of cups is crowning. This is total emotional fulfillment. Um, everything works out in your favor. Your emotions and your feelings feel fantastic. Page of swords. That could be the mind. An intellectual solution. So you're trying to make an intellectual, you know, mental, cognitive decision. Okay, so it looks really good for you, Aries. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups is crowning your energy. The outcome is the Ten of Water. Um, the Chariot is your underlying energy. You're wanting to push ahead with this moon. I mean, Cancer is ruled by the moon and the moon in Aries. Um, the moon is our receptive side. It is the way we feel, and it's definitely our intuition about certain things. So, to me, you have a lot of universal support energy right here. Um, the Three of Cups in the environment, to me, with the Two of Cups, though, and the Ten of Cups, doesn't say anything about third party or anything like that. It says to me that there's supportive, loving, emotional support energy around you, your energy is coming from queen of water, which means you're feeling your feelings very intensely. You're feeling things before you even go into the situation. You're, you know, like an empath. So I'm just going to use this Oracle of the fairies to see what kind of an Oracle message we get for you guys. Looks really good. Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. Page of Wands, though, is the main energy. Page of Wands is not mature. That's like, I don't have any experience in something. Maybe it's something you've never done before. You're like, I've never done this before. I've never um, gone mountain climbing. And I'm really afraid to go mountain climbing because of the, maybe I'm really afraid to go skydiving. I really want, it's like the fire within you wants to go skydiving. The, the Mars and Cancer in you wants to go take that risk and go skydiving, but the Gemini mind, Sun, will be like, oh boy, you know, and that'll be that'll be the the T square that we have today. There's nothing bad coming up. Retrogrades are a time for change because you overcome fear, you over you overcome things that hold you back. Celebration. There's some kind of celebratory energy surrounding whatever it is you're trying to do here. Celebration is fun. If you don't remember what fun is, <laughs> maybe it's been so long because of COVID and you're like, I don't even know what to like to have fun. Um, get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. There could be an invitation on the way. Okay, celebration, good news, purity. Maybe Spirit will give me one more for um, Aries. Wow, inner child. That would is definitely the page of fire. So there's something here about page of fire, inner child issues. Being playful, do something fun. Doesn't always have to be hard work and, you know, being in the grind. 
Journey. Prepare yourself for a journey. You are prepared. So I feel like that could be any kind of journey. It could be a physical, literal journey, but it could also be like um, some new path in your life that you're going down. Okay, I know this reading is really long. It's like, what's happening? But there's a lot of po super positive energies coming up. I just want to get a couple of clarif clarifying cards here. Um, they're all pretty self-explanatory. Let's just get some, um, let's just get some random messages. Spirit, random messages for Aries here, positive. <laughs> Holy Spirit, okay. Oh, wow. Five of coin, feeling a lack, a shortage, or feeling abandoned. We have the six of swords, smooth sailing ahead, peaceful times, moving ahead, coming out of conflict. And the ten of pentacles, money, wealth, and abundance, long-term, financial, family, flourishing, security. Any other king of wands, taking your power back, being a leader, making decisions, entrepreneur, the king of wands. Random positive messages here for Aries. In my crystal grid reading from yesterday, there was a voice, a man's voice that came through and said, all right. <laughs> um, in one of my readings before a year ago or so, a voice said, leave now or go now. No, it said leave now. So if you ever hear a voice, it's like a digital voice that comes through. You can hear it. Uh, put it in a timestamp so that I can hear it. That's why I say, that I feel like these are messages from spirit. Um, six of coin. Somebody is going to be generous towards you. It's the energy of gifting. It's when, so this card, six of pentacles, is when somebody wants to lift you out of that five of pentacles shortage. Um, you could also be helping somebody else out. The lovers is on the bottom here. It's a blessing. So let's get one more for Aries. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, we're at 22 minutes. So I'm still going to do a crystal grid reading for today. Mind, because you're like flip-flopping. Today you want it, tomorrow you don't. And it's like, <laughs> luckily there's a king of coin in the crossing. Let's hope that that grounded energy understands the page of wands. The Page of Wands just kind of wants everything. You just kind of want it all. And um, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com. Thank you and take care.